Hey everybody, good afternoon. My name is Ricardo De Cruz and I represent Complete Auto Reports and Joe Man Auto Service. So today we have the 2021 Rogue that I wrote about yesterday. This vehicle is back from the dealer and they did the configuration of the distance range sensor and they performed the calibration. So I just want to review this with everyone to see the difference between what we do and what is done in the marketplace. So in order to do that, we're going to review the Nissan instructions together and we're going to check off to see what the dealer may have done or not done. So the first thing to note is that the grill is missing. Now, I don't know if missing the grill creates an actual problem, but I know that the instructions state that you need to clean the area in front of the sensor not here, the actual grill, not here, the actual grill before you start. So there was no grill on the car. I mean, I don't know that that's a huge issue, but let's review the instructions together. <clears throat> so the first thing it states is that a four wheel alignment must be performed before proceeding with the radar alignment procedure. And then once you go into the preparation, they have adjust all live tire pressure, or not live, sorry, adjust all tire pressure sensors to the specified value, empty the vehicle, shift the selector into park and release the parking brake, fully fill fuel tank, then check coolant and oils that are all filled up to the correct level. And here is the instruction saying clean the distance sensor area of the front bumper grill. So again, uh, the grill was missing. Uh, you know, that is uh, arguable considering the instructions don't state whether it needs to be on or not, but based on that, I would assume it should be on. So here's our dealer invoice, and we have removed every instance that would identify who this dealer is because it's not really about this dealer. It is about many dealers overall and about what they do that creates a lot of chaos in the marketplace. <clears throat> so this dealer charged $358 for this calibration. Does that mean that we got a wheel alignment for free? Um, and going down this list again, so I did this prior to getting on live. Here is the tire pressure from the vehicle as it was dropped off at our facility can show you the door placard. Door placard states all tires should be to 33 PSI. I'm sorry, 33 in the front and 30 in the rear. I don't think that looks like 33 and 30. Fill the fuel tank now. You know, there's a lot of uh, discussion about using weight and I'll create a video at a different time showing you why creating weights is really just an exercise not designed for you. But I don't think that gas tank is full. Maybe they used weights. And on that topic, regarding weight, remove any luggage from passenger compartment, trunk room, etc. So you guys can see What's in this car? Do you really think this car was cleared out? I mean, maybe it was. I'm not here to say who did or did not do their job. But I am here to talk about how this makes all of us look horrible because this was clearly not done to manufacture spec. So not trying to pick on this one dealer, which is why all their information has been hidden. I just want to talk about the practice that we allow this to go on and we hand these cars back to people who drive them and say, yes, it's safe. We did everything right. And clearly it's not. Anybody watching, thank you for your time. Feel free to leave comments or send me any messages. Have a great day, everybody.